Hey folks, Stronghold Crafter Cab here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, in this video, I'm going to do another tutorial. And this is going to be how to make a castle tower of foam. Yes! <sighs> but uh, in this particular uh, video, I'm going to focus on uh, the design aspect of uh, where to start, uh, how to lay out your uh, your plans, and uh, so forth. So, um, if you are a subscriber, uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe because I have a lot more things coming to the channel, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. For uh, more information on my craft, visit my website, which is strongholdsoffancy.com. And I'll see you in a bit. Hey folks, welcome to my uh, castle tower tutorial. And uh, we're going to go over uh, basically an overview as to uh, what this all involves. And uh, I try to keep things simple and uh, in steps, that way we don't get off track here. And uh, But... You can't skip any of these steps. You have to go in order. Otherwise, it won't work. So, anyway, I'll briefly go over these um, and then uh, go into some uh, design drawings. So, first of all, uh, design. You want to, uh, you have to first design what you want to build. Okay, that goes with just anything uh, overall. So, you need to know how, how large it needs to it is um, and what features it has uh, dimensions uh, all kinds of stuff so and then cut well obviously that's you need to cut the foam or whatever material you're using uh, detail that's where you need to uh, take your raw pieces and uh, give them the uh, detail they they need uh, for prior to assembly. It could be uh, cutting holes out uh, for windows, it could be cutting out sections for uh, doorways and uh, stuff like that. Uh, assemble, yes, that usually involves uh, gluing stuff together or whatever adhesive you're using. Um, and then uh, we go on to uh, the check stage. That's where you're going to uh, look things over, uh, make sure uh, things line up right. Um, also, could be uh, certain uh, areas need to be blended together or carved after they're assembled so that uh, it looks like it's all one piece. Uh, and then after that, it's it's kind of like a... Or you could say it's, it's a final detailing before painting, and then painting, of course, of course, uh, you pick your paints, uh, a base coat, and paint it, and then paint it with uh, your uh, main color or uh, additional colors, depending on how you're layering the colors or not. And uh, finish can mean um, you're done, or it can mean you're uh, adding uh, final touches. Uh, it could be uh, foliage, it could be um, uh, vines or other or stuff in, in this case. Or uh, could be uh, maybe some water effects. It just depends on what uh, kind of a tower you're building. So um, we will. This is just going to be a slight overview here. Let's see if I can zoom in this a little bit. All right, now. This is how I figure out how many towers I want to build. Now, I'm, I'm building a stronghold, so in this case, uh, I need to have all these towers. Now, I already built some of these towers all previously. However, the principles applying to this tutorial can apply to no matter what size the tower is. Uh, the main difference is, is what its function is, and then when it gets more complicated, uh, that's when you have to have a lot more steps and I'm only talking about doing the simpler towers here in this tutorial so you can breathe a sigh of relief and just uh, 
keep in mind that I'm, I'm only going to focus on uh, the corner guard towers in this tutorial and the side guard towers. Okay, the keep is a monster all to itself. Uh, I put more detail into that than I needed to, and you could say it's like a giant uh, guard tower in, in comparison. And the gate tower, obviously, that's more complicated because it uh, involves uh, an entryway. So, in this case, I needed to build for this stronghold uh, two side guard towers and one, two, three, four uh, guard towers. And uh, at this point in this tutorial, I already have one of the guard, uh, corner guard towers. I just need three more of those. And I'll point out the similarities and all that. And the two side guard towers. So, this is uh, zoom out a little bit here. This is a rough uh, design drawing for a uh, side guard tower. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, you need to know how tall you want your tower to be, how wide you want it to be, and other stuff like um, you know, how many windows do you want it to have, uh, entryways, whether if it's uh, ground access or another level access or uh, in this case wall access. Now the roof uh, is pretty simple but you need to think about okay is a roof access like a trap door or something uh, or is it a roof that there is no access and you just have something on top of it uh, or is there access from a different area things to consider and uh, in this case this is a front side of a tower with the outer wall and in this case I have like a right here I have an arrow slit and some more windows you also need to consider I really didn't get into it just uh, right away but uh, you have to think about uh, your uh, crenellations on the top. And one thing I, I neglected to uh, point out is I, I break down towers into three bits. I think of the base, I think of the trunk, and then I think of the crown. So in this case, the base is just simple uh, straightforward base. Uh, the trunk is this part here with you know, an arrow slit and the crown gets more into the uh, the roof, the merlons, the, the, the crenellations. You need to know how wide you want your uh, your gaps to be for the crenellations. You need to know how wide you want your merlons to be and how tall you want them to be. A lot of things to consider. And uh, you can see from this uh, corner shot here, uh, there's a cross section of the wall here that where it joins, and the wall over here. Uh, with this one, uh, there's a door here you can't see, but you have to have access to it. And this door is pretty straightforward. But then uh, this doorway here, uh, you can consider okay, do you want uh, additional stairs to go up to it along the wall, which you don't see here? Or do you just want it to have uh, just doorway access from there to there on the tower? And uh, just another view of the corner guard tower I was talking about with going up here and here. And that's from a previous tutorial, so we're going to go into that. So, those are all kinds of things to consider. So, keep it simple. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.